Hey everybody, welcome to the Apple Ninja. Today we're going to go over cleaning up our iPhones and going through all those apps, just deleting crap that we don't want, using Apple's awesome feature called offloading of apps, looking at how we can optimize our photos and videos, and just really going through and cleaning up our iPhones. All right, so let's dig in. If you're new to the channel, we geek out on everything Apple. So get subscribed and make sure to hit that alert icon so you get the latest content. All right, so here we go. We're going to want to open up the settings app. And we're going to scroll down to general and click on iPhone storage. So at the very top, we've got how much space, 141.2 gigabytes, I've used of the 256 gigs this device is. So Apple provides some recommendations down below of what I can do to recoup some of that storage space that I've used. The first item, optimize photos. If I were to click enable, I would save a, a whopping almost 74 gigs of space. And what this does is it takes all those high res photos and videos and gets them off your device, puts low res videos and photos on your device so then if you ever need a good one you just go download it from iCloud because all the high res are going to be stored up in iCloud I actually like having a full fledged backup on my iOS device at all times so I do not enable this feature but I can see it saving people a ton of space the next item offload unused apps if I were to click this, I could save almost 16 gigs of space. And what this does is it offloads an app. So let's say I'm gonna actually show you an app. So I have this app, Libterm, the green one in the right corner. I wanna offload that app. So I go back to my settings. I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna find Libterm. Okay, here's Libterm. It's 553 megabytes, so I can come in, click into it. I can either delete the app, which will delete all the app contents and the documents and et cetera that I've used with this app. So if I click offload, what that means is my documents, data, and app are all removed. The documents and data will come back down from iCloud if I ever decide to install this app again. The great thing is, is it leaves the icon of the app in place. So I'm gonna click offload. And it's gonna say reinstall app now. So now I can come over here and if I look at libterm, it's now got the iCloud symbol for me to download it. If I were to download it, it would still have my original documents and app settings, etc. So I could offload unused apps and apply it to my whole iPhone. The auto delete old conversation. So anything a year and older, uh, it would just wipe that stuff out. I'm not doing that. I like keep my old text messages. Um, but what you can do Outside of that is I can click on this review large attachments and this will allow me to just clean up the attachments that are tied to those messages. So let's say I want to get rid of this top one. I just swipe to the left and click delete and it's gone and I don't have to worry about it. I can go through all the different attachments that are tied to these messages. If I scroll down, I can see all the apps on the system. I can click on any one of these. So let's say I just click on Facebook. Within Facebook, I've got the app size of 237.4 megabytes. And then I've got the documents and data of 415 megabytes. That seems like a lot. So what I could do is delete this app, have it wipe away everything, download the app again, and start fresh and I would probably not have anywhere near 415 megabytes of documents and data. That's one way that you can clean up an app. If I go back and I look at Safari. Safari is a big one because Safari impacts that other category. 
So let's go back and if I scroll up, a lot of times what you'll see when you're looking at the colors up on the top, the far right gray is the other category. A lot of times people's phones will get bloated in that category. And what it is, is it's all the caches and history of these apps that are on the phone. So, oh, sorry. So if I go down to Safari and I look at this, Safari documents and data is 796.2 megabytes, right? So the website data, the offline reading list, the history, the downloads, all of that data is stored in your other category. So if I wanna clear this out, what I need to do is I need to go back and I need to go back into settings and I need to scroll down to Safari and I need to scroll down to clear history and website data, clear that guy out, and that wipes that space that was used out of that other category. There's all sorts of apps that store data into that other category, and it's just gonna be up to you to go through this list within your settings um, and uh, iPhone storage going through each of these apps and knowing whether you want to keep this thing on your phone or if you want to wipe it out. When you have an update for your phone, you don't really know how big the update is necessarily from the update message. So you can come in here and it'll show you how big that iOS update is. So another 516 megs, you might be low on space and say, man, I can't even run it. Well, how big is the dang thing? You come in here and you can check it out. So this is uh, kind of your iPhone storage, going through, wiping out, cleaning it up, getting yourself back in organized state. And take care. Have a great week.